Our fall sports have been off and running. It has been another great fall for us so far. And today is another great time of the year because we get our winter sports underway practicing and playing. It's always, always good if you're a basketball junkie to hear the balls bouncing. I'm very excited about both of our basketball teams and about the progress they made during the offseason. I'm going to touch on four points today. I'm going to start off with Coach Kilburn. Krista, as we all know, is the consummate team player in the department. She continues to recruit at a very high level. Her students excel in the classroom and they graduate. She's had numerous pros come out of the program, including most recently one of my fan favorites, Candace Bond, an Olympian, and Liz Murphy representing Canada. And Krista recruited and developed our all-time leading scorer and rebounder, our recent graduate, retired Jersey, Shantae Evans. This past season, Krista had an assistant coach become the head coach at Sacred Heart, and we had another coach leave us for another university. Krista did a great job in recruiting two outstanding assistant coaches to join our already outstanding staff, and they're with us here today, Adia Ravel and Denise King. You can stand up. And my closing comment on Krista would be a very important one regarding the future of our women's basketball program. I am very excited today to announce that Krista has signed a multi-year contract so that we can work together to achieve our goals of a CAA championship and an NCAA tournament bid. Congratulations, Krista. You know, my second topic uh, is also near and dear to me, just as Krista is, and I can't say enough about the job that Joe Mahalik and his staff has done in such a short period of time. Along with them today is his outstanding staff, Colin, Mike is here, and then Shane is on the road recruiting, trying to find some more horses, and uh, Coach uh, Speedy Claxton is out on the road recruiting today as well, trying to find another Speedy Claxton, which would be very good. Uh, beside our outstanding staff and our outstanding support staff, Joe has really done a great job leading this transition from last April to where we are today. I have a strong, strong admiration for his commitment to the academic success of our student athletes. This offseason, though, is only the first step in a process of bringing this program back to where we want it to be. As you know, Joe is the right person to do this. Multiple NCAA tournament bids, multiple NIT tournament bids, multiple Coach of the Year awards, and most recently, to judge the character of the man, he was awarded the Skip Prosser Man of the Year last April. He is well established and tremendously respected in the basketball world, which is one of the primary reasons that drew me to him last April. In addition to his respect in the basketball world, he's held in high regard by his former student athletes. He's a great recruiter, he's a tremendous developer of student athletes and players, and as I said last year, all through the search process, and I said in the announcement when we hired Joe, I was looking for a steady rudder. A steady rudder, a person with a plan to get us back on track, and a person who's been there and was not going to get rattled inheriting a roster of four scholarship players. And he hasn't been rattled, he's put that roster together and he's going to tell us about it when he gets up to speak. But I do want to recognize those four scholarship players. They're not here with us today, they're in class. But I have to tell you, those four guys could have bailed, they could have gone somewhere else, they could have left Hofstra, but they made up their minds they were going to stay and they were going to be part of the solution and part of getting Hofstra men's basketball where we all want it to be. So I'm deeply indebted to those four guys. I wish they were here so I, can, I could tell them, uh, but I hope you all tell them the same thing so they know that our fans and the media feels the same. Over the course of the next few months, we're going to develop a new floor design for the basketball court and the MAC Sports Complex, which will be put in place for next season. We want to engage our fan base and the passionate pride followers to submit their own designs as we launch this promotion. So in the next two weeks, we'll release the particulars of the basketball court design contest. 
So get out your markers, turn on your computer graphics, break open that box of crowns, and get working on your own design to send in when the promotion's announced later this month. And then, as important as our coaches are, because they bring our student athletes here, once we get them here from a basketball perspective, we need to develop them. They come here, they stay four years, they play their entire career right here in this building. So the most vital thing that we thought after the priority of academics is how do we win games and achieve consistent success on the basketball court. And developing players, as I said, is a very key element of that. This winter, we'll begin construction on a dedicated practice facility for our men's and women's basketball teams. It will be located on the far end of the PFC. It will have eight baskets, a full court, and two half courts. It will have the scoreboards, the video equipment. It will have all the branding of Hofstra basketball, the retired jerseys, NCAA banners, all that type stuff. This will obviously help in the recruiting process and certainly will be the centerpiece for the development of our team's basketball skills. When we have a finished design and construction schedule, we'll share it with the media and all of our fans. Bottom line, this practice facility is a monumental development in the enhancement of our basketball programs. And I think it shows the renewed and enhanced commitment that we have for our men's and women's basketball program as we achieve our goals in this sport and in the CAA. I want to particularly thank President Stuart Rabinowitz for his support on this project, the basketball practice facility, and his overall support of all of our athletic programs. The support of our entire university administration is unparalleled to anywhere I've ever been in the past. So to all of our fans, our students, our faculty, our alumni, and our Pride Club members, thank you very much for your support, and we appreciate you being with us today.